Hello, my fellow uh, saber aficionados. How's how's it going out there? All right. So uh, this is my uh, my new favorite saber forge hilt. It's a uh, sixteen and a five eighth inches long of uh, just uh, you know saber forge magnificence. This is just one solid uh, kind of simple yet a uh, Ludicrous hilt. This is the uh, Fallen Order, the uh, first version. And this is the uh, version that doesn't have the uh, the little broken end. It just has kind of a nice clean, um, nice clean, clean pommel. Uh, this this uh, this pommel resonates so cleanly. And uh, my version has the Veteran Tier soundboard. And uh, of all the sabers I have that has the uh, Veteran Tier soundboard, this one sounds the best, bar none. All three fonts sound great on it. And this is, of course, the weathered version, also known as a V2. Very strange weathering. It's just sort of a little bit splotchy, I guess. And uh, a little worn on the edges. It's a very unique uh, take on weathering. And it, it really kind of works for this hilt. So now that you've seen the pommel and the cover tech wheel, we can cover the uh, the handle, the little knurling. The uh, knurling on the handle of the first version of the Fallen Order is a little bit, um, the, it, the little individual diamonds in here are a bit bigger. I've seen photos. I don't have the Mark two i don't have the mark two but the knurling seems a little bit finer on that version uh i wouldn't say that this is the uh most tactile you can't really hear it it's very smooth but it's a it's a very comfortable hilt this thing's solid this is just a solidly built piece a lot of times um with my with my saber forge hilts i i I don't really want to handle them too much because I feel like, um, I feel like I could just break it. Not that they're not well made, but they're just so intricately detailed. Like the, uh, for instance, the Phoenix, I have the Phoenix and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful hilt, but it's just, there's so much refinement to it that it tends to, I don't know, it just feels like I just don't want to handle, handle it too much. I don't want anything bad to happen to it whereas this thing i just feel like it's just it's just one solid glorious piece and it's just so well constructed and so tough uh so there's a kill key that's uh when i bought it it came with a kind of a 3d printed kill key and it was already broken and i just replaced it with a sort of a standard kill key uh you have your backlit uh um momentary switch and this is the, uh, I'm assuming this is the LED retention screw. Because uh, as I found out, the LEDs really set back from the from the emitter. And I'll show you why. Uh, the cutouts, these are awesome. It's just got like, it's like they painted it. It's anodized slightly more silver inside the cutout. To give you a kind of sense that there's a more, you know, machining going on. On the inside backing up a bit here's the um the uh <laughs> the little control box type of thing it sort of looks like a, a bit of um a bit of the uh, it harkens back to the little control box on the uh, redeemer if anybody has a redeemer there's a little magnet that you have a kind of a card that goes in here and that controls the the saber turns it on and off uh, ob obviously this is a considerably smaller it's about a th third or, or or so the size um the one this is the one limiting uh factor of this particular hilt is this box uh, has really sharp corners so you have to be very very careful uh of that when you're handling this hilt however i found that it, it's easy to work around on that and uh, I've, I've gotten used to handling this without really injuring myself on that box. I wouldn't dream of removing it, although it looks like it could come right off if if you were, you know, so inclined as to do that. But 
I wouldn't. I, I like to keep my uh, my sabers as as close to how I receive them as possible. You know, especially when it's something like this. You know, kind of a, a little bit of an expensive piece. Uh, so this is a little greeble, and uh, I uh, I did a, a previous video where I actually removed the greeble, and the greeble is it just basically it just there's a hole, and you can see. I think the blade probably goes to about here and uh, you can actually see the the light just shining through the hole once you remove this greeble and it's a really nice uh, it's a really nice affectation I, I like that but I'm gonna keep the greeble in there because like I said I'm a bit of a purist um, but you can remove that and have a little window so that's pretty cool um, I'm not too sure how the uh, the little uh, these little uh, emitter oops uh, panels how different they look on the mark two but i do know that there's a lot more detail in here on the mark two and uh, i gotta put my camera down for just a second please forgive me for doing this to you but uh, sorry about that my uh cat found something on the floor and he was eating it and he shouldn't have been eating it so i had to take that away i don't want anything to happen <laughs> to my cat Cats, they uh, they do try to murder themselves. They're very self-destructive creatures. <laughs> or at least mine is. Uh, anyway, so back to uh, back to the game of hand. So they kind of have a little bit of the... Uh, I don't know. It's this, this, this one section, this is kind of like a, a piece here. And it kind of has a little bit of that... Uh, whereas everything else on the outside is kind of gray, it kind of reverts back to steel and sort of matches the coloring inside here. So that's, that's kind of a neat uh, little effect. Um, both of these screws here are actually blade retention screws. That one and that one, that's a blade retention screw. So that blade goes in nice and deep, goes into about there, about there, yeah. And then it's held on by uh, by two uh, blade retention screws. So that, that one's firmly in here. So I took a 37-inch um, uh, Infinity V4 blade, cut it down to 32 inches, and that's what I have in here now. And so you can uh, kind of see that the you know the the weathering is it's hard to explain you, you can't really see the detail here but it's, there's a little bit of a modeling um but it's it's not really the the usual de uh, weathering that you'd see in a saber forge hilt but then they get the 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 wear right on the edges so it's a very subtle degree of weathering and and i quite like it it's, it was a little jarring at first i wasn't really sure you know what i was looking at i've seen um i mean i have plenty of saber forge hilts and uh, a lot of them are weathered and and they really go to town on the weathering but it's all kind of machine and it sort of looks like stridations on a on um i don't know it just, it just doesn't look like natural weathering like you know weathering should look but it's it's nice nonetheless, but I really like what they've done with this hilt. I just think it's spectacular. And uh so your your main choke point is here. And you want to kind of position this thing around here because you know it's when the palm of your hand hits this thing, that's when you start getting uh, aware of its presence. But you know, you you have a really decent choke point here and you can kind of do just about anything with this. So it's a solid, hefty piece, but it's not so heavy that you can't really, you know, swing it around, uh, sorry, with speed and wild abandon. It's just very, very comfortable. It's very wieldy. And, uh, I don't, you know, you can you can actually, you can manage this with one hand just fine. Um, but it is designed to be a, a two-handed saber. But um, it's very, very balanced. It balances just about there with a 32-inch blade. Yeah, very balanced, very well designed, solidly built. Um, it's it's subtle yet uh, yet ludicrous at the same time. And uh, this is this thing has turned into one of my absolute absolute favorite uh, saber forge hilts. Now I won't get into details of the drama that I went through to procure this thing. And uh, uh, if you saw my unboxing video, you probably saw me uh, a little bit on the disappointed side. But everything was uh, sort of uh, reconciled. And uh, there are no issues with the saber, and basically uh, the the price that I ended up paying for it was uh, more than um, adequate for I think both the seller and myself. So um, yeah, I have no regrets. I have no buyer's regret at all. Uh, anyway, so near as I can tell, I think this has a, a light blue 
LED, um, you know, the 12 watt, um, you know, quad Cree that Saber Forge uh, uses. And as, you know, as I said, it uh, has a veteran tier. I'm just going to keep it on Viridian. I'm not really going to do all the other fun spin. So the backlit switch looks really good and it matches the blade color near perfectly. So it's not arctic blue, it's not deep blue, so it's either uh, the light or the medium blue. I don't own either <laughs> other than this one, so, and I, you know, since I bought this second hand, I can't really confirm, but um, the blade color is amazing. It's, other than arctic blue, this is probably my second absolute favorite of the Saber Forge blues. I've got it set to a f flicker, I pretty much set everything to a flicker. How this sounds. The camera's being really cranky. It just kind of cut out on me. So I apologize for that. Now I gotta edit. sound all right so there you go that's uh it's my fallen order give this one a 10 out of 10. I really couldn't be happier. This is my um, third uh, Fallen Order style hilt. The first one I bought was um, kind of a hardware store, store version by uh, Custom Diversions. And I still really, really like that one too. That one's a stun saber. The proportions are very similar to this. And both are quite obviously Fallen Order style hilts. And then of course I have my Azure Fallen from Ultra Sabres, which is its own thing. And uh, at some point I'll, I'll do a comparison of all three of those. And I think that's probably the end of my... Uh, Oh, that'll probably be the uh, the limit of my Fallen Order Saber collection. I didn't really expect to buy this. Um, I'm glad that I did. Anyway, so, yep, that's pretty much it. That's my review. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions uh, regarding this, uh, this hilt, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And, uh... It's a little bit rainy out for me, so I'm probably going to be indoors for the most of the day. But I hope you all get out safely. You know, don't take chances. Things are weird. The whole world's weird. But at least we've got a we at least we've got our hobby. You know, at the very least. So hope everyone's um, hope everyone's doing well, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please, you know, subscribe, like, uh, or dislike, uh, whatever is appropriate. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later, and have a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye.